you love chat GPT, but all of that text isn't your thing, and maybe you're more of a visual learner, you're going to want to stick around for this. This is called Whimsical. It is a chat GPT plugin, and we're going to go over real quick how you can create stunning mind maps and flow charts within chat GPT in a matter of seconds. All right. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. So we are a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage AI. So let's go learn some AI, see if we can leverage it. But yeah, make sure you go to the website here and sign up, sign up for our newsletter. I think it's pretty cool. All right. So let's talk about Whimsical. What is it? How does it work? Well, you will need, first and foremost, you will need a paid chat GPT account. Uh, so make sure you get that. I mean, y'all, it's $20 a month. You can cancel it at any time. It's well worth it. No one pays me to say that. All right. So uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into GPT-4, go to plugins, and then you're going to need to add uh, and enable Whimsical diagram plugin. So uh, right now, uh, it does require a free Whimsical account, uh, but it takes uh, just a couple of seconds to get started. Uh, I do have some other plugins enabled because I'm probably going to want to use what we call plugin packs um, later uh, on this exact chat. But for now, let's just uh, kind of go over how this works. So essentially, you're just going to ask it to create a flow chart or a mind map of something. So let's just see it working into action, and then we can describe it. So in this prompt, I'm keeping it very easy. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, so hopefully you can see. But I just said, create a flow chart, the best way to write a blog post. All right. So pretty simple stuff here. And as you can see, it is working. Uh, the Whimsical Diagrams plugin is, is doing its work. Uh, one thing I like to do with these, uh, with these tutorials, I do them live. I don't edit them. Uh, it's the same thing that we do for a podcast and live stream. So uh, sometimes tools don't work, as they say. Uh, so I like to do everything live so you can see exactly how it works. All right. Awesome. It's already done. Cool. You see, that was fast. All right. So I'm going to take a look at this, but I'm going to have it do another one. I'm going to say now create a mind map. So first we did a flow chart, then we did a mind map, but let's look at this flow chart and see how it, uh, see how it works. So pretty simple stuff. If you're a visual learner, I like this. It says, choose a topic, research topic, outline post, write draft, edit and revise, add images and media, proofread, right? So this is great. If you're a visual learner and you don't know how to learn something, uh, it's an easy way to do it. And then uh, the thing I like is you can view or edit the diagram, right? Which is great. So you can just click that. Then I'll go ahead and uh, share this uh, on my screen as well. So uh, awesome. That's so, so great. So you can go in and edit it. Uh, you can add uh, kind of like sticky notes. Looks like you can just drag it off here. Uh, connect this with your team uh, or, you know, chat with your team, I believe as well. So really great, easy tool. All right, so let's see how it did with the mind map. So we're doing the same thing. Um, and as I go over this, I'm going to start another chat. We do this live. We try to, this is our AI in five. So we try to keep it fast. So here is the same thing, but instead of a flow chart, we did a mind map. So a mind map on how to write a blog post. Um, if I'm being honest, this is awesome, <laughs> right? Uh, for me, I'm a very visual learner. Yeah, I can read text, um, but sometimes I don't want to read. Sometimes my brain works a little better if I can see something like this, if I can see uh, a visual uh, like this, which is great. So we get a lot of the main, um, a lot of the same information that we had uh, in the uh, in the flow chart, but a lot more, a lot more depth here. So even as an example, uh, you know, when it says choose a topic, it says identify audience needs check trending topics. Those are two great things when you're choosing a topic, right? All right, so let's go. Uh, I did something a little more complex. So I said, create a mind map of the user experience journey of discovering your blog post, right? So so now if we're uh, you know, doing this mind map of how to write, let's figure out or let's ask Whimsical, what does it look like for the user? This is what it looks like uh, you know, if you are writing a blog post, but what does it look like for the user in terms of um, them discovering your blog post. So this is great. So this is the different, uh, you know, uh, mind map, uh, kind of, of the user experience journey. If someone discovers your blog post, so they discover it and it could be from a search engine, search engine results, social media share, uh, et cetera. Then they read the blog post and they navigate 
to the product page. Um, so actually in the, uh, in the prompt, I said, um, create a mind map of the user experience journey of discovering your blog posts and then buying a product, right? So let's say you have a product, but you write blog posts and you want people to discover it and then you want them to buy something. So this is kind of their, uh, the mind map of the ideal user experience journey. So you can really understand uh, what people are going through. So they discover your blog post, they read it, they navigate to the product page, uh, they evaluate the product. They make a purchasing decision and then a post purchase experience. This is awesome. Have you not used Whimsical yet? It is fantastic plugin. Um, and again, like, like we did for the other one, we can view or edit this. Uh, so we're just going to go there, uh, click that. And here we are, we're in the user experience journey. So I can, you know, change anything in here. Um, I can add, you know, some annotations, sticky notes, you know, add some connectors, arrows, uh, all of that. So uh, very cool. Um, if you haven't checked out uh, this tool, I think you definitely should. So as a reminder, if you haven't already, please go to your everydayai.com. There we go. There's the website. Sign up for our free daily newsletter. We go over everything. So one of the things that I think is best aside from these AI and five tutorials is every single day we bring on, uh, an expert or even sometimes an everyday person, uh, that talks about how they're, how they are using AI to grow their company, uh, grow their career, grow their business. So make sure you, uh, check out that and hope to see you back again soon for another AI and five. Thanks y'all.